Oh crap, I didn't take any pictures. Wait a minute. Any What's up guys and welcome back to Face Over Matter. It is your girl Jay here and in today's video, I wanted to give you guys an updated routine of my everyday foundation routine, how I keep my oils away, how I just pretty much get a full coverage, flawless, smooth base. I just wanted to go in detail and just show you guys some really interesting things. Also, I wanted to feature the new minted, oops, let me, let me fix that. <laughs> I wanted to introduce you guys to the new um, minted cosmetic matte red collection. They recently um, launched these, I believe. So I wanted to give you guys a beautiful just makeup look. I've already done my eyes, of course, because I didn't want the focus to be the eyes and just take up more footage and stuff like that. So I kind of just wanted to keep it as the skin. So we're gonna get right into it. I'm gonna show you products. I'm gonna give you details and we're gonna get right into the lipstick and just do the completed look. We are gonna finish off with some type of red look today. So I don't know what color scheme I got going on, but I was like, you know what? I'm, I stress out a lot about my color scheme. So let's get right into this video. So first I've already applied my Ole SPF. I already used my Mario Badescu Rose Water. I will just spray that on a little bit. Um, for this routine, I'm not gonna use any of my vitamin E oil. I usually use my vitamin E oil when I'm just doing like my skincare routine, kind of like in the house before I go to sleep, in the mornings, things like that. But I try to avoid using that oil right before makeup application. Okay, so to get into the skin, now just, this is not product related or anything, but I wanted to tell you guys, to get my face really super smooth, I believe that your base, of course, is like the most important thing when it comes to makeup application. You can have the best foundation in the world. You can have the worst foundation in the world. I think you can make it work if you have a good, clean, flawless base. So, meaning flawless, I mean, I'm very hairy on my face. <laughs> I have a lot of peach fuzz. I have really long, thick sideburns. So I have a lot of hair on my face. And I found that taking one of these little blades, I think it's like an eyebrow shaper, but I use it. I put a little bit of oil on my face and I kind of just go down my face like this and it just picks up any peach fuzz. If I wanna get my mustache real quick, it'll pick that up. So I've already pretty pretty much done it already. I'm just gonna just run through just to kind of give you guys a demonstration. If I just wanna kind of nip up anything, even my eyebrows, I've shaped them up before with this. This I actually got from Sally's and I think it was about three bucks for a pack of three. So that already gives me a beautiful smooth uh, base to work with that I love and that just makes my skin very nice and smooth looking. Next is foundation. So the foundation I'm gonna be using is from NARS. This is the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I have been raving about this foundation lately and I love it. I actually had an older, an older one somewhere in my collection right here. But as you can tell, this one was way too orange and way too dark for me. Even this one is a little bit more on the yellow side and I think I am noticing that I am more on the reddish side, so I need to look for a foundation that's more on the red side. But as of right now, this one works, so we're gonna use that. Also, an oldie but goodie that really helps keep my oils away is this Black Radiance True Complexion Primer. I love this primer. I have used to rave about this primer so long ago. I had strayed away from using it because, um, just because what I had been doing in the meantime, I think it was like my setting powders and stuff, was really doing the job, and I added way too much. Um, at the time, it was doing the job, so I really didn't use it like that, and then, then I was experimenting with different primers and things like that. But I recently started using this again. It's about five bucks. I usually, I usually can find mine at Walmart, but wherever they sell Black Radiance products, I am pretty sure you will be able to find it, no problem. So after I add the pumps, I'm gonna go ahead and take a brush. One brush that I've really been loving, I talk about it all the time, let me grab it. Talk about it all the time. This is the Coastal Scents Angled Buffing Brush. Love this brush so much. All right, so I got on a new shirt. So y'all might judge me, but I'm not messing up my shirt, okay? Huh, this is what I use on my clients. Y'all think I'm playing. No, ma'am, I just gotta be careful my sleeves other than that all right i'll just take a little bit of this foundation a little bit goes a long way with this foundation i really really love this foundation it just really makes my skin extra extra smooth 
And especially with me removing that peach fuzz off of my face definitely gives me that more smooth look. And for some reason like this brush and this foundation like it's just skin be smooth honey smooth all right let's get into some concealer i've really been enjoying the magic away liquid concealer from charlotte tilbury not trying to be biased but i did get this in um like a gift package for free so i am going to use it but i just want to show you guys that i am liking this foundation i mean this concealer outside of it being pr i'm just gonna add it right here in like my darker areas I'm gonna take my um, ColourPop concealer in medium dark 32 and just add a little bit of zhuzh, a little bit of that. Um, as far as buffing this in, I like to take this other brush. This one is from uh, BH Cosmetics. This is from the Silver Collection and this is the number three. This one is beautiful for a concealer. I love it so much. I just really like brushes for my cream products. I just, I just do. Like I'm not sleeping on beauty blenders, y'all. I talk about this all the time. I promise you I'm not sleeping on beauty blenders, but brushes just give me a better finished product. That makes any sense, and I know it does. It just, it just gives it a better look to me. I'm gonna pinch the brush a little bit just to make it a little bit more fine on the outside, and this is where I'm gonna kind of cut the outside of my eyeshadow and just make it really nice and crisp. So now that I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and do some contouring. I'm back into cream contouring, so I'm gonna be using the Wet n Wild. This is the Mega Glow Contra Stick in the shade Where's Walnut. And what I kinda of do is apply it a little bit. You know how we kind of put the contour like in the sunken part of our cheek? I kinda of put it above that now. I just feel like it gives me a better like crisp cut to the cheek, if that makes sense. Then I'm gonna take this Revlon brush. I don't think it has, it has not been um, released yet, but there is an upcoming Revlon brush collection coming up in 2019. It came with the Candid um, Foundation, Candid line, which I did a review on it, but I lost all of my clips. So yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna have to just redo that, I guess. So I'm just gonna take this brush and buff it out. This is a beautiful, very dense, good brush so if you can get your hands on it when they launch i think this will be a very good brush to pick up okay so now to set everything i'm going to be using the charlotte tilbury powder of course again this came from the care package i did a while back i don't mind baking with this powder simply because it's a really nice powder to bake with honestly um it's called the magic away powder is it magic away what is it charlotte tilbury magic powder under eye under eye face powder. So it's a really, really nice powder. So I'm gonna do a little bit of baking. I'm just gonna use a brush because none of my beauty blenders are clean. Like always, something's never clean. I'm just gonna go right up under there and just set everything. It does have a little bit of a yellow tint to it, so I'm not opposed to that at all. It gives you vibes of like a nice banana powder. But you see how I can bake, but like, as you see, it just kind of sucks in, sets everything that needs to set. It also gives a beautiful radiance to whatever you're setting, which I think is actually pretty cool. Same old, same old is my CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Powder. I love this stuff, still been using it, haven't changed, don't think I will. I'm gonna use a dual fiber brush for this. And we're just going to bronze. We're going to bronze up the skin a little bit and it's almost like a setting, an all over face powder, I mean. I've been loving it for that purpose anyway, so. Then for blush, I've been loving, loving, loving this L'Oreal Paris Paradise Enchanted Blush. This one is in the shade Fantastical. I'm gonna use the same, actually, no. I'm using my Sephora 93 brush. Yep, 93 brush, gonna use that. And we're just gonna pop that on. This one's actually pretty pink. Um, there's another one in the collection, I think it's called Bashful, I really love. But that one's a little bit, it doesn't, it's one of my blushes I'll use like on a natural day. But since we do have eyeshadow on stuff today, I'm gonna go with something a little bit more pigmented. Moving right along to the Maybelline Master Chrome by Face Studio. And we're just gonna highlight like usual. So fun stuff, that's over. Let's get into the lips. I'm super excited. 
Let's have some fun. Let me make sure my area around me is clean before I remove this um, thing. Okay, so I'm gonna pop open the lipsticks before I even try to do a liner, just, just simply because I'm not sure of these shades yet. Okay, so this is my first time opening them up. This is Minted Matte Lip Shade Red Carpet. Red Carpet. Now we had a good round with the other ones. Okay, so this one is called Red Carpet. Next, this one is called Red and Butter. Super excited about this one. Next, this one is called Red Rover. All right, so just to keep it in the family, I'm gonna take the Minted Dope Lip Pencil and this is going to be my lip liner. I was gonna do red, but I kinda wanna see if I can bring like that, that brownness in it. You know what I'm saying? Also, let me take this off my lips. Let me wipe off any residue foundation. I don't wanna manipulate the color or anything. I really want the color to be true to its original color. Let's add this. So let's go with the first one. So the first one was called Red Carpet. Let's see what that looks like. Ooh. I like totally messed up my lip line, but wait a minute. We gotta bring the mirror a little bit closer so we can really see. Okay, so this is gorgeous. Okay. Um, okay, y'all. This is beautiful. Beautiful. Let me zoom you guys in. That's what I didn't do first. Hold on. Holiday ready or nah. The holidays is all about shimmer, glitter, red, and lashes. This is it. No stain, lit. Okay, let's do it. So this one is red and butter. Oh yes, look how bright that is. Ooh. Okay, see this is that red that I would wear like with no makeup. Like, you know how like some like, I really think it's a beautiful eclectic look. Like when some people like they go out with their natural hair or no makeup and then they just pop on a red lip with like a bomb outfit. Like I aspire to be that person. This is the red that you put on, okay? This is it. So creamy, do I can't lie, like I can't lie. This is that, hi, I'm Lily. I'm come from Calabasas. <laughs> I don't even know which one I like more. This is definitely a classic one. Last one is called Red Rover. Now this one, swatching it, it looks more of like a purpley, has a little bit of purple, like can y'all see, like look at those colors, they're so rich. This one's more of like that purpley one. Like a cran, oh. Uh, are y'all seeing the pig mint? Ooh, ooh. This one is a Red Rover, being a Range Rover with my Red Rover on. <laughs> like this is gorgeous. I think this is the lip, I think the last lip color was perfect for today's eye look. I love it. This, okay, out of the three, what is your favorite? Is it red carpet? Is it red and butter or is it red rover? Like surprisingly, I kind of really like this red rover shade. How pretty is that? That's so pretty. So, 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 so pretty. So again, these are very pigmented, very creamy, opaque shades. If they wear anything like their matte collection that they recently came in, came out with with their nudes, their browns, um, the pinks, the purples, all of those, um, if they wear anything like those, they're gorgeous, they're beautiful, they're going to last. Of course, it may be like any other cream lipstick. Um, the longevity may be a little bit shorter than um, something maybe like a liquid lipstick, something like that. Um, from Fenty, something like that. But other than that, I believe that these will last. The nudes do phenomenal. I've been wearing them nonstop. That's literally only the lipstick that I wear, the lip liners included. If you haven't tried those, go get your hands on those if they're not even sold out. Um, but these reds, I think, are definitely worth it. If you don't want all three, I hope I have showed you enough of the color today to make you pick maybe at least one of them, especially the holidays coming up. I know red is always a go-to color for the holidays as far as lip colors go concerning makeup. I know red is definitely something to go to. Um, you can definitely go with the classic red, which was the red and butter. Red and butter, I think, is gonna be your classic red shade 
which is gonna be the universal shade for everyone. Again, I did show you that you can use the matte pencils um, that came with their matte line. If you do have them, if you haven't gotten them, get them though, they're beautiful with nudes. But just to show you that you can use it, you can use a red lip liner. This one, for example, is from NYX. You can definitely use something red, but I think adding like a brown, just like it still leaves you room to kind of play with the color rather than like a liquid lipstick that's just gonna be like red and that's it. But if you want to mix it, maybe give it a little bit more dimension, make that Cupid's bow, a little bit of, you know, voluptuous, something like that, you can play around with it. Um, beautiful lipsticks, Minty Cosmetics, you guys did it again. Thank you so much for sending me these. I think these are beautiful. I cannot wait to see what more colors you have in store for the upcoming year. But this, I think, ends it off. They did beautifully with, you guys did an awesome job with the nudes. I raved about it. If you have not checked out my video, I will put the link somewhere up in here or it will be one of the first links in my description bar. This is my everyday foundation routine. If you want me to do a more natural foundation routine, let me know down below in the comments, which I'm already sure you guys probably will, so I'll already get a head start on it. Um, but as far as these go, I hope you guys like at least one of these. If you try, if you do, tag me on Instagram, hashtag face over matter. Show me what you did, hashtag. If you do use the Minta Cosmetic lipsticks, of course, hashtag me and hashtag Minta Cosmetics so they can see it as well. Um, but let me know which one was your favorite. So again, thank you guys so much. Thank you again, Minta Cosmetics. I hope you guys learned something today. So as always, if you are new, I'm Jay. And if you're not new, I just thank you so much for supporting me with whatever I do here with my channel. I love each and every one of you to know in. And of course, until next time, God willing, I will definitely see you all in my next video. Mwah.